Hi, Mizuki Matsuoka. I never cared about my hairstyle, but I had this big event coming up. So I decided to get my hair done at a hair salon in Tokyo. Is this it? Ugh, this place looks so fancy. It's just a haircut. Probably won't make much of a difference, but Grandpa looked this place up for me, so whatever. Hi, I made a reservation. The name is Matsuoka. Mr. Matsuoka, welcome. Do you have a preferred stylist? No. Okay, follow me, please. Welcome! I'm Arugaki. I'll be your stylist today. Huh? What the? Matsuoka, is that you? Yeah. Wow, it's been forever. Look at you. You haven't changed a bit. You're so lame. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you in the city. Ugh, not him. I can't stand him. He was my classmate back in high school. He was one of the popular kids. He always made fun of me for being lame. This one time, I tried to use some hair gel, but he laughed in my face. Damn it. I had no idea he was working here. I should have checked. You moved to the city right after graduation to become a hairstylist? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I was too good for that place. Talented people like me belong in the big city. <laughs> I see. What about you? I bet you're not even married yet. Did you take over the family business? Uh, not married yet. I'm gonna take over the family business soon. <laughs> so you're gonna be managing that small hotel back home, huh? Sounds pretty lame if you ask me, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Our hometown was a famous tourist spot. My family owned a little hotel there. It was up in the mountains, but we had a lot of repeat customers. My dad ran the hotel now, but I was planning to take over someday. So, you got a hairstyle in mind? Actually, no. I don't know what would look good on me. I see. Well, you're not that good luck to begin with, so... This is gonna be hard. He's such a jerk. Just give me the most popular hairstyle or something. Really don't care. Uh, look at the time. Oh, I'm gonna be late. I was running late. I was getting pretty frustrated, but then... Mizuki, you're done? What the... Oh, Marina, sorry. Uh, it's gonna take a while. You didn't even decide on a hairstyle yet? Oh, huh? Marina? Oh, Warugaki? Why are you here? What's going on here? Huh? What do you mean? You didn't tell him? Uh, not yet. Oh, uh, we're getting married. What? Tomorrow, our families are having dinner at this hotel in the city, and I wanted him to look his best, so yeah, I'm counting on you, Radugaki. Uh? Your grandpa found this place for you, right? Did he know that your old classmate worked here? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, wait, hold on. You two are getting married? But you were like the hottest girl in school. You're way out of his league. What? But I'm the one that fell in love with him. Please don't talk about him like that. What? That makes no sense. What do you see in him? Wargaki was a jerk, but he did have a point. She was the most popular girl in school. And her family owned a huge hotel. Much bigger than ours. In fact, her family owned multiple hotels around the country. Like he said, he was way out of my league. We went to college together and... I asked him out. I've always had a crush on him. What? Both of our families rent a hotel, and I've wanted to be friends with him ever since elementary school. Then one day, I ran into him at the library, and... What are you doing? Oh, um, I'm reading. I'm trying to come up with ideas on how to make my family's hotel better. What? But we're just kids. Leave it up to the grown-ups. What if we kidnap one of their guests and have the others look for them? Uh, I don't know about that one. I think that's illegal. 
I see. How about a door that won't open unless you solve a puzzle? I don't know. Customers come here to relax, so... Oh, but I think it'll be really fun. Bridget's kids, but he's already thinking about his family business. Maybe I should start thinking about my family business, too. Want to brainstorm together? Uh, it's fine. I'll do it on my own. Oh, uh, okay. I was gonna stay at a hotel meet a suite, but that's stupid. He'll laugh at me. In middle school, he started helping out his family's hotel after school. I was really impressed. So, I started studying more about the family business as well. I did a lot of research on Mizuki's family's hotel too. Then, when I was in college, I went to his family's hotel for the first time ever. It was amazing! I had the best time of my life there! This place is amazing! And you are amazing! I want to know more about you! Will you go out with me? <gasps> uh... Thanks. Um, okay, sure. Mizuki's hotel is all the way up in the mountains, but it's always fully booked. You've got to book it months ahead of time to get a room there. His hard work over the years is finally paying off. After we get married, he's going to help us with our hotels. I'm so excited. Marina, this is a hair salon, so maybe we should talk about this some other time. Sorry. I'm sorry, Varugaki. I just got really excited and sorry. Uh, sure. It's fine. Oh, but you haven't decided on a hairstyle yet? Okay, how about this one? Uh, okay, sure. I'm counting on you, Varugaki. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. Varugaki was a jerk, but he was a pretty good hairstylist. I was pretty satisfied with my haircut. Mizuki, you look good. Thanks. Okay then, here's your bell. I was planning to ask her out myself some days, but damn, I guess it wins this one. Thank you, Ranugaki. He looks great. You're really good at this. Thanks again. Of course, thank you. Huh? <laughs> A year later, we were happily married now. And for some reason, I was friends with Waragaki now. Whenever we got interviewed by reporters, he insisted on doing my hair. He said I had to look my best if I was going to be Marina's husband. <laughs> so I guess he knew what he wanted to do when he grew up. That's so awesome. When I was younger, I wish I knew what I wanted to do. Anyways, what was your childhood dream? Let me know in the comments below. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.